starting in 5 seconds. Mr. Deputy Speaker, Sir, before I say anything about defense, I would like to congratulate the Home Ministry on the splendid work it has done in connection with the improvement of the conditions of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. The present Home Minister and his ministry are not spending money on good schemes as used to be done in the past. They have got very many schemes and those schemes are really worth spending lot of money. They are really for the benefit of these communities. I was going to ask the Home Ministry to set up a separate fund for the construction of houses for these communities since the ministry concerned with housing had completely neglected this problem which is facing these communities. Even the planning commission in the last five year plan has not done much in this regard. I think even in the 10th five year plan there is no definite plan for providing housing facilities for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. But since the housing minister has promised that he is going to constitute a board to go into these things, I do not think there is any need for me to stress this point anymore about the board which is going to be constituted. I would definitely like to say a few words. This board, I believe, is going to consist of some members of the Harijan community and also a number of members belonging to non-Harijan communities. In any case, I would very much like that this board which will of course function under the Home Ministry should have as its chairman a non-Harijan. I want to stress this point because I know that in some of the states where the portfolio of Harijan welfare is given to a Harijan minister, he is not able to do his work properly. It is not because he cannot do it. It is not that he is not efficient enough to do it, but because every time he speaks about the welfare of scheduled caste and measures to be taken to improve their conditions, he is generally looked down by the other members of the cabinet as a communalist. If the same thing is done by a member belonging to a non-Harijan community, he will be considered to be doing a national service. Therefore, the chairmanship should go to a non-Harijan. The 10th 5-year plan, I understand, is going to be an industrial plan. Many industries are going to be established in this country. Therefore, I feel it my duty to say that the ministries concerned with heavy industries should take proper care in setting up new industries in places which are not very well developed. For instance, if a heavy industry is set up only in one state, all the ancillary factories crop up in that particular state and the benefits are derived only by the people of that state. Even in the case of employment in those factories, it is always observed that the people belonging to that particular state get the preference and the people belonging to other stages do not get any benefit out of it. Therefore, the ministry should take proper care to see that these heavy industries are located in such places that they cater not only to one particular state but can also 
cater to more than one state. For instance, if a factory is located in the center of a state, the benefits of it will be derived only by the people of that particular state. There is a factory in Chennai, the Pelambur coach factory which is producing coaches that is located in the heart of the city of Chennai. It cannot help the people of either Andhra or Kerala. If the same factory were to be located on the borders, there may be so many ancillary industry feeder industries in Andhra or in Kerala because it is located in the heart of the city of Chennai only the people of that state could make any profit out of it. Therefore, I appeal to the ministry concerned to take proper steps to locate the future industries in such places so that they could be of help not only to one state but be of help to more than one state. In Hyderabad, there is a place which produces thermal power but there are no industries to make use of that power. Repeated requests have been made by the government of Hyderabad but the ministry at the center is not at all taking any notice of it. I think if a factory to produce electrical goods or a small fertilizer factory or a small engineering factory were to be located at that particular place that will be able to cater not only to the Hyderabad state but also to Andhra and other places as well. Therefore, it is necessary that steps should be taken to see that heavy industries are located not in one particular state but on the borders of states. Stop.